you, thank you. Woo! Thank you so much for watching our Sunday morning service. It's such an honor to have you joining us. You guys are wild this morning. Come on. Sunday morning live. That's what I'm talking about. Pastor Anthony, how you been? Life is good. I can't complain. <laughs> good, good, good. I, it's been wild, hasn't it? This whole thing's just been pretty crazy. It, I've never seen anything like it before. But you know what? My lawn is pretty green right now. You're looking pretty good, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, there's been some pretty big breakthroughs uh, recently in the scientific community. Yep, in fact, scientists have just developed a mutant enzyme that can restore a bottle in a couple of hours. Have you heard about this? Oh, no, I haven't. Yep, yep, yep. It's called, I can't believe it's not plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just celebrated Easter last weekend, and I'm not sure if you heard about this, Pastor Anthony, but uh, people actually had to celebrate Easter while being stuck on these cruise ships that they're calling ghost ships. Have you heard about this? No, I don't think so. I mean, celebrating Easter on a ghost ship. I can't wow. even imagine. That'd be about as bad as being quarantined with Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. <laughs> That's a crazy picture, isn't it? I, I don't, what is happening there? <laughs> Good times. Well, this last week, Bernie Sanders <laughs> endorsed Biden as a presidential candidate. Also this last week, this green lizard from Australia saved a bunch of money on his car insurance. <laughs> Just this last week, researchers say they have found six new coronaviruses in bats. Have you heard about this, Pastor Anthony? Oh, yeah, I think I heard that. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it's, it's true. It's really not a big deal as long as everybody remembers to thoroughly cook their bats before they eat them. Hey! <laughs> The CDC just announced, yep, they just announced that the public should start wearing face masks. Apparently, face masks can reduce the likelihood of catching the coronavirus. Have you, have you heard about this, Pastor Anthony? You know, I think I might have. Yeah, every, everybody's wearing, wearing face masks. You know, the CDC is kind of like the kid that always showed up late to school, you know, always showed up just before the bell rang. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, telling people that a face mask can't protect you, that's like saying McDonald's is healthy. I mean, that's like saying that smoking won't kill you. That's like saying that 5G won't increase your testosterone. <laughs> Five G, right? <laughs> that joke was sponsored by Whoops Mobile. <laughs> well, we're gonna try a new segment that we are calling Top Ten Quarantine Cuts. <laughs> Number ten. This cut. <laughs> <laughs> It's a doozy, man. <laughs> yep. Number nine. This cut. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, 
Number eight. This cut. <laughs> <laughs> And number seven, this cut. <laughs> number six, this cut. <laughs> what are we on, number five? I, uh, yeah. Number five, this guy. <laughs> Number four, this guy. Not bad. Number three, this guy. <laughs> 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 Number two, this cut. Oh. Oh. For the final quarantine cut, the last one, this cut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a great service today. We're going to be talking about stepping out of anxiety into abiding. It's all about abiding today here at Seattle Revival Center, our Sunday morning service.